What's up guys, it's your boy Nikoda here, back with the new Let's Play series. We're starting with Call of Duty Numero Uno. I do plan to do the entire Call of Duty series on my channel eventually, because it is one of my favorite series. Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, those are my two favorite series. And the Total War series. Those are my three favorite series of video games. Ever. So I plan to have all of them on my channel eventually. So let's get started with this game. Shall we? August 9th, 1942. Camp Taka. Georgia. More long marches tomorrow than obstacles with Captain Folly and weapon training with Sergeant Moody. Everyone is dead tired. Another guy got RTU, which means return to unit yesterday. He begged the sergeant to let him stay. My unit, the 506 Paratrooper, Paratrooper Unit Regiment, is all volunteer. Is an all volunteer unit. I don't think back to then you could volunteer. I think you were drafted. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm lucky to serve with these guys. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. Our officers drill us continually. I've trained for months and I haven't even jumped out of the airplane yet. The Army has never had an airborne unit before. And that makes the brass nervous. And what makes the brass nervous makes this drill even harder. Let's get this... She's not started. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. The number of rounds in your weapon and the rounds you are carrying. Oh yeah, I should start a new game because I sh I accidentally blew up my instructor. Well, it wasn't really an accident. I was just seeing what was going to happen. So I read that to you already. Alright, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. So this Before says... Starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs. This says, use grenades to flush out hard points. This says, move together as a team. Attack, attack, attack. This says, always move from cover to cover. This guy must die because it says, always reload before going into battle. Now, Suppress the flank. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, Martin, go, good go. to see you. Let's go! Jump over him! Come on, Elder, get the lead out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. I feel like a soldier. What the fuck are you now? No, no. I didn't sign up for this. Oh my god. Find these ladders, privates. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All oh, those ladders. I tried to jump over. This is. No, that's not a ladder. Okay. Martin, proceed through that door. Sir, yes, sir. Eyes up, Private. I'm up here in the observation. I know where the hell you are. M1A1 carbines from the table. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. What? The number of rounds in your weapon and the rounds you are carrying are displayed in the lower right corner of your HUD. My mouse sensitivity, so... Can't go yet. I didn't hit that 12 times. Hold up.
9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I hit it 12 times. Oh. The fence and fire oh. rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. Your target in different stances and while moving, you will be more accurate while not and in the crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. All right, move on to the next area. Tell me what to do. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your side. All right, I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private, move on to the next area. We're not going to make this. Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons. Besides your sidearm and grenade. Fire ten rounds at your target. Compare your accuracy. Get used to firing both ways. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. In close <laughs> your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Mean this? Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Now switch weapons, Private. Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different situations. You Make forget. Long choice and you could buy the farm. I can headshot Fire three you. More rounds at your target. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Pick up the frag grenade. Grenades! Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move behind the concrete post. Lean out to the left and the right. This will help protect you from the Private, move on to the next area. How? Oh. Remember, Private, if you get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. Pick them up, partner. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. That was cool. Well done. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Woohoo! I'm dismissed. Where do I go? History will be kind to me for I intend to write it with Sin Churchill. He actually did say that. It said so right there. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H hour D-Day. Seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. 
the Dudes River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. You too. June 5th, 1944, 1800 hours. Greenham Common, England. In about three hours, I will be in Normandy as one of the pathfinders for my unit. I'll be landing ahead of the main airborne force. The Pathfinders land before the main force and place beacons on the landing fields to guide the rest of the pilots and paratroopers in. The brass are sending the airborne in first in the early hours of the morning. To protect the flanks of the Utah beach at first light, the main, main force of the invasion hit the beaches. For the weeks, the entire invasion force, more than 175,000 men, have been cooped up and forbidden to contact anyone outside with nothing to do but memorize maps and battle plans. We're all quite eager to be in France. A few hours ago, General Eisenhower paid us a visit. If we pull all this off... The Germans are in for one hell of a surprise. Where's my friends? Think up with him. Motherfucker! That was a bit... I didn't mean to... <laughs> Shy. That was a bit, um... Too much. Maybe I should have gone this way. He's this way. So I tried to shoot him. He's over there. What other guns do I got? No, nah, I don't want that. Ich war mal dir in Nordhalles. 
was sollte die hier schon besonders passieren? Shit. Okay, so we got secure the perimeter. Okay, where did I need to go? Okay, well, let me go that way. Make my way to the nearest town.
Where they at? You little fuckers. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. I'll see you for the next mission. And I'll read you a little quote for the next level. Above all things, never be afraid. The enemy who forces you to retreat is himself afraid of you. At that very moment, Andre Marios. All right, I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, click that description down below. And remember, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Stop watching my channel if you're not going to simply press a little button. You obviously like my content. You guys are watching the entire video. Subscribe. <laughs> it's not that hard, people. Subscribe to me. I will do anything naughty to you you want. All right. It's your boy, Nakota. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.